how you doing? I don't know if you can hear that truck go by. I'm right off 101. Today I'm going to spend painting a sign for St. Sonny because he's going to start singing his karaoke. Trying to make some money. So I thought that was really cool. So I told him I'd paint him a sign. So he could put next to his donation can. And, you know, he was the guy I was telling you about that was homeless. Newport took him in. So he's going to hang out at the beach at Newport. Try to make some money singing old westerns. <clears throat> old western ballads. But actually I want to talk to you today. About part of the dark night and triggers. See, when in the past, whenever a tower moment would happen for me, it would trigger defense mechanisms, and, and they were always a negative. It would always put me back. The best way to put it is, it's either to be selfish or to to, to, to hoard or to, you know these things. That, these are unnecessary. It's hard to explain. Well, when you're used to being in survival mode your whole life as a kid. My tw I mean, when I grew up, I, I lived out of a backpack for about 10 years because I, I was not, I mean, talk about unstable, right? I mean, uh, mentally, just like uh, residentially, exactly. So I was always traveling, always sleeping on couches, staying with friends. I'd have, I'd have apartment. I'd, usually it would, how it worked is I'd have jobs and I'd have roommates or I'd get an apartment, you know. I'd know somebody and they need a roommate, so that kind of thing. So you'd, so, but at the same time, the instability of it all, and after a while, it starts triggering negative responses in you, self-destructive responses. And I started to catch that whenever things would start going bad for me, I would feel, I would get that, I would get not only the anxiety, but I'd also get the the trigger the, the It's like the ego would go on, go on self-destruct mode. <laughs> And that's the best way to put it. It would be your ego just goes, bursts into the room in the control room and says, slams and hits that red button and everything just goes fucking the shit. There's no thought, there's no process, there's no emotion. I mean, it's just, it's all just chaos. And I had to learn how to figure that out and how to, and, and understand when you recognize the minute you're feeling that starting to grow, that that self-destruct that you know when the ego hits the button and you're understanding that and you're calming yourself and you're trying to say okay what's going on why is this bad thing happening when you know what am I gonna do about it do I have resources how am I gonna deal with it take deep breaths you gotta you know what I mean and that's how I've actually learned to deal with my triggers to, to deal with my tower moments the you know the apocalypse that's going on right now I'm dealing with that through my internal struggles and, and understandings of how since childhood it's the when they talk about healing your inner child it's a lot to do with that it's the, the, the abuse you took as a child the lack of love and affection and attention that every child should have and, and trust me there's a lot of people out there with hidden inner childhood stuff that they didn't even know about I as one of my first guides spiritual escapades she's an amazing she's a really really cool human being but even she was just talking to me about, I mean, and she, this was over two years ago when I first started um, on my journey that she was one of my first teachers. And even she was going to a shaman and having to pull out childhood bullshit that she didn't even realize she was dealing with and carrying it around. So it's like, we all have this. We all need to work on it. And fight. It's like when I say fight your demons, they always gonna be there. Like, like I said, mine are tied up in the basement and they call me sir. That's how it's supposed to be. You're always gonna, you always have to have the balance, but you have to control it. And that's all part of the, the surviving the dark night and becoming the badass that you are. And I keep telling you, yeah, you're going to suffer and you know, you're going to get good views when you're done and maybe even find the love of your life. Who knows, right? But what I for forget to mention is what an absolute fucking badass you are going to be. I'm still feeling it and I'm still working and the healing, but I'm a badass. I'm sorry. I am, and I can't even get to explain it. 
I can't, I'm not, I'm not gonna toot my horn, I'm not gonna go there, but this is you, babe. I'm sorry, I'm just talking about you. You, when you're done with this struggle, even before you're done, while you're still healing, you are gonna be so badass, people are gonna see you walk in the room, and they're gonna wanna know who the fuck you are. They're gonna say this, okay, obviously, you're gonna be glowing. You're gonna be radiant, you're not gonna be sad, you're gonna be smiling, because you've been through the shit, you've been through the fire. You're healing from the burns, but you've been through the fucking fire, man. That's what it is. Dark Knight is basically healing the burns from going walking through the fire. So, heal. No, you're going to be a super fucking badass. You already are, but you're going to feel like a super badass. There's a difference. There's a difference between, you know, thinking you're a badass and feeling. I feel it. It's been a long time since I've had my power back. I had, there's been moments in the past, but man, I didn't understand it and it got snatched away like that. But now that I understand it and I can control it, <laughs> yeah. Love and light, people. Use your powers for good, always. I was just thinking about my mother. She's a very powerful empath, very powerful witch. But she used her powers for selfish gain and it destroyed. It wasn't a good ending for my mother. I love her. I mean, she's still alive. God bless her. Thank you for having me, Mom. But yeah, it was sad tales, man. Because she didn't use her powers the way she should have. Like I said, she was powerful. And it's like I am. But I use my powers for good. And I want everybody to use their powers for good. Think happy thoughts. Love your neighbors. Love people. Don't think bad. When you start getting these negative thoughts where you want to kick some ass, just realize that's not you half the time. It's the energy around you. Focus and just get rid of that shit. Love and light that out of the, out of the room, right? Anyway. I love you. I love you, Mom. Have a, have a wonderful day, everybody. Love and light. And I love you. The universe loves you and God loves you. And you are a badass. Rock that shit. And heal. And love and light.